We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kristen, and today I'm doing some trash to treasure DIYs. DIYs, trash, trash, DIYs. I'm um, making over some yard sale finds, some Goodwill finds, and just some finds I already had laying around. Um, actually, all the stuff I've had laying around for a while, uh, just trying to get through my stash. I'm super excited about this. It is also a collab with DIY Beauty on Purpose. I'm super excited to be collabing with her. I will leave her link in the description box if you want to check out her channel. Um, also, if you are coming from hers, welcome. I am so glad you guys are here. If you are new, I do a lot of of DIYs. I do trash to treasure, Dollar Tree, budget friendly makeovers, decorating videos as well, and um, just a little bit of everything over here. Um, so yeah, let's get started with my outdoor. Yeah, outdoor. I'm doing some outdoor trash to treasure DIYs. So let's jump into those. Okay, so here we go with the first DIY makeover or trash to treasure thrift store makeover. This is a table I picked up at Goodwill. I actually bought it around Christmas time so I have had it for quite a while it was dusty it was gross but I love dusty and gross and stinky and disgusting maybe not stinky but I love the gross stuff so I just took my sander and sanded everything down I just did a nice little sand you're gonna see I have a winter jacket on and boots because I started this DIY back in February or March possibly so I sanded everything and then I went in with this green color spray paint. I think it is a satin jade. I will show you here in about two seconds. Right here, it's not satin jade. Oh, satin pistachio. And I was like, this is actually super cute. I'm going to spray paint. This is going to look great. It's not going to be white. It's not going to be black. It's going to be something different. And I started spray painting this and was like, yeah, this is actually, this is going to work out really well for me. No, it didn't. Unfortunately... This sat in my craft room probably about four, I want to say at least three, four, five months possibly looking just like this. I was so disappointed. Luckily, I think I purchased this spray paint on clearance for like a dollar or two dollars. So I wasn't that sad about losing money. It just a lot of time wasted because you can see the top. It was going through the spray paint probably because I should have primed it. But sometimes I just don't want to prime because then that is an extra step that I had to do. So recently, probably a few days ago, I decided to go back in with the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the gray and spray paint that. It was a gorgeous day outside and it dried in no time. And now I'm wearing shorts, which is kind of funny because I have a winter jacket on or winter coat on and then shorts and t-shirt, which is in sandals. But that's just how it works sometimes because I feel like that if you fail on a project and you just like kind of give up. I gave up for a while, didn't throw it away, but I did give up. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cuz I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering you know I do anything. So once it was dry and the spray painting was done, I went on my silhouette and I love using a silhouette, although I know some people do not have them. Amazon has some amazing options for stencils if you'd rather purchase stencils, but I feel like if you buy so many stencils, it ends up being hundreds of dollars because I know you can find some decent sized ones, but they run between like ten and twenty dollars. So I don't know. I guess it's whatever your preference is. You can always use some like carbon paper and you can stencil everything in that way using like free printables on Pinterest. I also use those as well. But I don't like buying printer ink. So I choose not to since I already have items to use for my silhouette in vinyl. That is just what I choose to use. And I think it is such long lasting and gives it such a really nice ending look. So this is what I did with it. I put it outside on the other side of our hammock bed. I think it's a hammock bed. 
And I love using these cute little tables. And especially when it was only like, I think it was $4.09 or $5.09. So inexpensive for this table. And I just absolutely love the way it turned out. I used decor I already had. And then I also used paint that I already had and I've used in a different project. So super excited about this. To be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up. This next DIY or this thrift store maker, I don't know why I say DIYs. Um is a magazine holder. So this was, my mom actually bought this, I'm pretty sure from Goodwill, if not a garage sale. Uh, but I'm just gonna take some black spray paint, 98 cent or 97 cent spray paint from Walmart and spray paint this whole entire thing. And I know that there was like some brown left out and I actually kind of liked it. It just kind of reminded me of like a distressed, like undertone brown and black look. I just, I don't know, I gave some off some super good vibes that I really, really liked. This was super fast to do, only took one day to finish all of this. Using a clearance sign from Meyer. you can also find arrows like this from Dollar Tree. This one was $1.19, but it's a pretty good size. I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I have a pint of it or a quart of it. I can never remember which. I'm pretty sure it's a quart. They're like, it's like $14 or $15 from Walmart. So if you cannot find the Waverly chalk paint in your store, just go in the regular paint section. And I think that that's a really good deal because this goes a really long way. I've had this for, I can't remember the, I, I've had it for a long time. Dollar Tree is stickers and I'm just going to use the stickers and write towels or stick on towels on here. So you're going to see that it was really crooked. I redid this three times. It's probably easier if you use a ruler of some sort. Start with the middle letter, work your way around. I totally get it. It was just I kind of just wanted to get this one done so it was a rush and then it looked awful it looked like a child did it so I really just wanted to redeem myself and make this look a little bit better so you're not going to see me redo all of it because that would take way too long but I did redo it so it does not look like this at the end and this is what it looks like when it is all done. I made it into a cute little towel holder for our beach towels outside. We've been getting our blow up pools out a lot lately when it is hot out. And I just thought this was such a cute idea just so the kids can just grab them. And I don't know, I think it's adorable. It's such a different idea to use for a magazine holder. Next one, I'm using a galvanized pot. I actually got inspired from going to a yard sale. So they were trying to charge, I think, $10 or $15 for a pail like this with a stenciled painted picture on it. And I was like, you know what? I have a bunch of these. I bought this at a garage sale. I think about three of them for a dollar or 10 cents each. I cannot remember. It was super inexpensive. I had to redo this two times because I realized the first vinyl sticker I put on was not even in the center so I redid it flipped it over um I definitely think using a stencil and paint would work way better because the vinyl just was not staying on the way I wanted it to and then this is what it looks like when it is all done and I will also leave some links for some stencils that look very similar to this because like I said I think using a stencil and paint would have worked way better for this and I showed in a recent patio makeover video. I will leave that in the link in the description box so you guys can check out my patio video makeover. But I bought a ton of mosquito plants and this is my lemongrass. It looks awful, but it's actually really growing really, really well. And I thought it looked super cute in this pot. But you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel down below. I just love, 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 I suppose today. And also don't forget to check out DIY Beauty on Purpose. She is amazing. She does a ton of Dollar Tree and Trash or Treasure videos as well. And I will leave her link in the video in the description box below. So don't forget to check her out. Till then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! could go for this no more tricks we could take things slow say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that i should be with that i should be we've been on and off again and again
I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. So give me a sign 